and welcome to Yes She Could Without Them. This channel aims at connecting with all those who want to be part of the tech world as developers, but are still wondering if this can be possible without a degree in computer science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. I'm Milen Lapa, an application developer with a master's in economics and passionate about cloud computing. My mission is to empower others, not only by teaching them how to code, but equally sharing my story in the tech field, which is kind of confusing, but at the same time, interesting. Today, I will be talking about my transition from a Java developer to a Salesforce and AWS consultant. I started my journey in tech as a Java application developer, but eventually got tired of working on legacy applications. For two and a half years, I principally worked on banking and financial projects. And if you're familiar with this sector, you know the kind of technologies I'm talking about. I, I work with very old technologies and frameworks. I mean, really, really old. I'm not saying all the applications of the banking and financial sector use very old technologies and framework, but it somehow happened that all the applications I worked with were just using old technologies. I mean, there came a point where I worked on a project where the technology was kind of deprecated and we had to somehow patch it all the time. It was not just encouraging, not at all, not at all. And Equally, the fact that there were long periods of bug fixing, like you just keep fixing bugs, nothing motivates you. I didn't really develop anything I could be proud of. Bug fixing was just a nightmare. Just sleeping and getting up, knowing that I was going to fix bugs, drained me out. I mean, I was no longer motivated. In as much as I like coding, that period didn't really motivate me. So I had to do something about it and I had to work towards that change. And how did the change happen? That was in March last year, 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the lockdown. So during the lockdown, I was working from home and at the same time, I still had enough time to like dedicate to personal interest working from home. We had 24 hours being home, it wasn't easy. In one way or the other, I had to look for something green or look for something to make myself productive. So I started looking, I had already developed interest for cloud computing. So I started looking for competencies required for me to get a job in the sector and all the in other information. So while doing my research and then looking at statistics on Statista, I fell for AWS. So that is how I started uh, preparing for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Certificate because my aim was to work with something innovative. I just wanted a change. I wanted something new, something that would really bring me new energy. I was, I was, yeah, that was just the, the objective. So I prepared for the AWS um, uh, Cloud Practitioner certification and I finally got the certification. When I got the certification, I was like, okay, what's next? What do I do with this certification? Because the objective was to get an entry level position in the cloud. I knew the AWS practitioner certificate was not enough to get me a position in the cloud, either as um, a solutions architect or a developer, but it was just a good starting point. So I got a certification and I started looking for positions for entry level positions, which required minimal experience. For a long period of time, I didn't really get anything which reflected my competencies and my CV. That was because when you look at the, when I was looking for a job, an entry level job related to cloud computing, it didn't just require you to know AWS. Most of the time, that would just be one of the competencies you need out of many other competencies. Like they will say, you need to know the Java technology, you need to develop, uh, know how to develop containerized applications using Docker, you need to know Kubernetes, you need to know this, you need to know that. And then they are just going to say, uh, if you know AWS, it will be an advantage. So most often it's not even kind of a key competence. 
I was looking for entry level positions just with AWS competencies where I'm sorry to say, but I didn't really found any, like maybe I found few, but it wasn't really relevant to me. At that point, what should I do? What am I doing with, uh, with a certificate? How do I get a job into the cloud to get the competencies required? It wasn't easy. I kept searching. And uh, while searching, I was contacted by my present employer, which is a Salesforce partner. But they equally deal with uh, cloud providers like AWS. So that's how they contacted me because I had uploaded, I had, um, how do they say it? I had uh, updated my CV on uh, LinkedIn, my profile on LinkedIn. So they came across my profile and they contacted me and they were like, okay, we have seen your profile. We see that you're interested into the cloud. And then we have uh, uh, a cloud related position, not at 100%. But if you're interested, we can tell you more about it. Just the fact that it was a Salesforce company, at first I was reluctant because I was like, I don't know about Salesforce. What is Salesforce all about? All I knew about Salesforce was the fact that it's a um, customer relationship management solutions provider, one of the tops. That is all I knew. What it did, I didn't even know that it was a cloud solution. I mean, just to tell you, that's a sector I've never really analyzed. So when this point in time, when I got this information from them, I took some days to like find out Salesforce, how is it, how does it work and all of it. Once I got the information, I was like, I was skeptical, like, should I change to move into Salesforce to do Salesforce partially? Because I had to work with AWS, not at 100%. I was supposed to know how to work with Salesforce as well. I was a little bit skeptical. But just the idea of working with Salesforce, uh, sorry, just the idea of working with AWS really, really motivated me. And that's how I got into the, the, the interview procedure. Everything went on well. And uh, finally, I accepted the position. So accepting the position, now that I had to work with AWS, work with Salesforce, and many, many other new technologies. So how is it going? How is going with all these technologies? I'm going to do a separate video on that. This video was just meant um, to share my experience, to share my transition from being a Java developer to an AWS uh, and Salesforce consultant. So I've been working with this uh, company for the past six months. And what can I really say? Am I satisfied? Can I advise somebody to do the same transition from being a Java developer to what I'm presently doing, like working with AWS and working with Salesforce? Uh, 100% not, but overall, I'm happy. It's not like I love everything about my job right now, but I'm happy with the change. I'm working with a lot of technologies, as I previously said, I'm learning a lot of things and that's what matters to me a lot right now. And as I told you, my background is not really that of uh, a computer engineer. So there are some little dots I need to connect all the time, reading and doing a lot of stuff to connect all the dots to really be competent. So overall, I'm happy. And uh, depending on your interest, depending on what you want to achieve, I can advise you to do the change because my objective is to become an AWS technical professional. I don't know if this job is getting me closer to the dream, but I just love what I'm doing now and I'll keep riding while hoping to achieve this, um, this objective. Yeah. So how do I conclude? I will conclude just by encouraging anyone out there. If you start as a developer, you can always change to something else. You can always invest in becoming something else. I know it's difficult, but don't get discouraged. Just keep pushing, just keep uh, giving and doing your best. And at the end of it all, you're going to see the reward. Thank you very, very much for watching. And please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and let's just keep talking, tech and cloud. Love you. Bye-bye.